Well, anytime where we have layoffs, it's going to have an impact on our community. This week, Tesla told the Texas Workforce Commission it plans to lay off 2,688 employees from its Austin facility starting in June. That's more than 2,600 people District 2 Councilwoman Vanessa Fuentes says are now scrambling to figure out their next steps. This is going to have a direct impact in their livelihood, how they're able to make in meets for the families that they are supporting. The news comes on the heels of the company announcing income was down 55% during the first quarter of this year. There was also a 9% drop in vehicle sales year over year. Fuentes says the news surrounding these layoffs sheds light on a larger issue within the workplace. I think it really just draws attention to the need for us to have uh, strong workplace standards and protections in place. I've been doing this for 30 years. Dan Ross is a principal lawyer at Ross Galise Law Group, a labor employment firm in Austin. We look at the reason that the actual employee is laid off. He says in situations involving mass layoffs, severance packages are typically issued. When that happens, the Austin-based attorney says, if possible, you should see a lawyer. To see if they have the ability to, for example, negotiate their severance package to see if it can become more uh, reasonable. Ross adds there can be downsides to signing a severance agreement, including being potentially sued by the company. You just need to be careful in a severance agreement because it's very tempting to take the money and sign whatever they put in front of you. Whatever severance packages are being offered by Tesla, Councilwoman Fuentes hopes they're at least good enough to make ends meet. That they provided sufficient notice, that they provided pay and benefits uh, for a sufficient amount of time to allow those individuals to seek employment elsewhere. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.